Hello guys, welcome to online web tutor presented by Profotex Sessions team. I am Sanjay. We are learning Coding Nitro version 3.1.11 REST API development for beginners. This is our part 1. Inside this video session guys, we will discuss about introduction and downloading about files and setup. Now from this video session, we are going to create our new playlist over Coding Nitro 3, something called REST API development. In our previous video sessions, like of PHP development, we had seen that what is the basic concept of developing a REST API. We had also seen that if we want to protect our REST API call with a token, then we had used in those cases about JWT token. So basically, all the basic questions about REST API something called what is REST API, why we develop REST API and how can we develop and where we should use. All these basic questions actually we had discussed in our REST API development in, in CoPHP. Inside this video, we are going to develop the same concept or let's say that we are going to enhance our technology something using CodeIgniter framework in which we have some controllers, some models, some routes. So by the help of all these modules, we are going to develop our REST API. So by default, when we download any Codeigniter setup, it is a first downloaded setup of Codeigniter. It has no features of REST API mode. So how can we convert a Codeigniter setup into a REST API setup? We will see and download the needed files to make it. So if we back to our documentation like codeignited.com, this is the official website of this framework. Now if we want to download the Codeigniter setup about let's say first downloaded setup, so back to download tab and inside this tab as we can find that we have like Codeigniter 2 version, Codeigniter 3 version and Codeigniter 4 version. This is the upcoming version of this framework. But right now, Codeigniter 3.1.11 is the current version of this Codeigniter. So we need to download first. So we have downloaded before making this video. Now let's say that if we back to folder structure, now this is our downloaded setup. If we go inside folders like application, so inside application as we know that about the basic concept of coding at a folder structure, we have controllers, we have models, we have views, we have config folder and many other folders. All these about folder structures and working with framework also we have a playlist called Learn Coding Nighter where we have seen about how can we make everything about each concept in Codeigniter. But by default, Codeigniter has no features about REST API mode. So we need to download some basic necessary files which automatically convert this setup to our REST API server setup. So if I back to slide and go to next tab, so how can we make our Codeigniter setup to REST API setup? So there is a very simple way to convert that. So to make a Codeigniter a REST, a REST web, sorry, web REST API server, we need to download four files and set inside the application. It means that we have to download four necessary files from Google or let's say from anywhere and set inside application. And now by setting all those files, our Codeigniter setup will then react about something called REST API setup. So if I back, let's say that if this is our project, Codeigniter setup, we have downloaded the current version. Now inside this, as we had seen that we have application folder. Inside this application folder, we have a config folder, libraries folder and language folder. So inside these folders, we need to put some files. So for this config, we need to put called rest.php. For these libraries, we need to put call format.php, rastcontroller.php and about this language folder, we already have English folder. This is the default folder Codeigniter provides. Only we need to put about this file called rastcontrollerlang.php inside our English directory. 
Now these are those files called rest.php, format.php, restcontroller.php, restcontroller underscore lang.php. So all these files we need to put there inside the respective directories. So if I back to code editor, now I have opened the same application inside Atom editor. Now you can open inside your own editors, back to application, go to config and here is the file called rest.php. Again, if I back to our libraries folder, so before, go to language, English directory, and this is called restcontroller underscore lang.php. Now, again, for the libraries, we have format and restcontroller.php. So, I have placed each file inside the respective folder. So, you can download all these needed files inside Google. Just you have to type something called REST API files of Code Igniter. It will give about the different different links to download all these files. And you have to place after downloading those files inside the respective folder. If I back to GitHub, now for simplicity, I have made a repository inside GitHub and inside this, I have put a blank setup of Codeigniter which includes all the necessary files what we want inside REST API development. So this is our Codeigniter setup inside this application folder. Go inside config. Now inside this, as we know that we have called REST.php, this is something like here. Again back to application folder, go inside language, we have English directory and this is our file. Again same for our libraries folder so back to application, go inside libraries and these are those files. Now you need to download only about this blank code igniter setup. This is the current version called 3.1.11. Now only you need to clone or download the zipped folder right from here. After downloading this setup, you don't worry about the needed files. This plan code igniter setup already contains already contains about the required files which we need while developing REST API in code igniter. So basically guys, this was our first video. So inside this video, we had seen about how can we set about Code Igniter to our local system. And inside the whole place about Code Igniter REST API, we are going to use called the Atom Editor. And also, after each video lecture, we will commit the code inside this repository. So inside this video session guys, if you went out, then please drop your comment. I will give my reply as soon as possible. So for this video session guys, thank you for watching and have a great day.